town of Elyria, Ohio. And in Elyria, Ohio, the hopes and the worries, the challenges and the resilience of this once prosperous and thoroughly American city. A city looking for the next big thing play out in the booths and in the kitchen of a modest diner in an old brick building on the city square. A diner called Donna's. Who's the first customer usually is Bill. Bill eats scrambled, light wheat toast. Then comes George, poached eggs and cinnamon raisin muffin and bacon. And then comes Chuck, who's one pancake and three sausage links every single day with hot syrup. It's been 12 years since Donna Dove first opened her doors in downtown Illyria. Morning, Donna's Diner. In that time, Donna's Diner has become a kind of refuge in this small Ohio city, a place offering scrambled eggs and a cup of coffee to help you get through the day. You look beautiful, George. You always look nice. I don't know how to run that restaurant. I don't know how to pay my bills. I'm a cook. It's all I am. Her loyal regulars have helped Donna to weather these uncertain times. But her business is down this year, way down. In many ways, her diner represents all of Illyria, a once vibrant manufacturing city that keeps alive a communal hope for reinvention, the next big thing, better days. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly every morning at Donna's, some of who you might call the elders of Illyria take up the front table by the window. They're known as the Breakfast Club, and they eat and talk, eat and talk. You know, you know what the French police do in the metro to pickpockets? They break both the guy's wrists and break his fingers. That's Not true. true. That's that that is true. true. No, Coolidge was the president. No, I know, but no his one knows him was like Calvin. Calvin. Uh, Such a nice guy. No, my wife says your Facebook page says you like the Democratic Party. I said, no, it doesn't. She goes, yes, it does. Somebody hacked you? I think so. For Donna, cooking has a way of making things better, something she came to realize early on. I was 10 years old. My dad left, and, you know, he was in and out. I remember going to the bar. My mom would say, come on, let's go find your dad. My dad was sitting at the bar with this lady with a beehive. And I remember my mom, she said, Jerry, we need money. We need money for food. We have to pay the rent. And he turned around and the lady turned around and he said, get out of here. My mom had two jobs and um, she used to say, Donna, you know, get your brother and sisters and take care of them, and there's food in the freezer, do what you can with it. So Donna became the family cook, that is, until she began to have a family of her own while still in high school. I had Carla when I was 16. I didn't want to get married, but because I was pregnant, his family's, you know, you get married. Forty years later, much has changed for Donna and for Illyria as well. The bustle that once defined its downtown is all but gone. Broad Street almost seems to stand still, as if waiting for someone to shout, Action! Sometimes the only movement seems to come from the gushing water fountain in beautiful Ely Square, just outside Donna's. As the city struggles with budget cuts and other challenges, the giddy water dance of the fountain remains a constant, a symbol of Illyrian resolve. Over the last dozen years, Donna has seen as many as 20 downtown restaurants come and go. But for now, at least, her doors remain open. To Ike Maxwell, a former high school football hero who was hit in the head with a baseball bat 30 years ago and hasn't been the same ever since. Give it straight! 
Now, he often shouts words and phrases that most people don't understand. To the man who has been nicknamed Wheat Toast, this is because every Wednesday he orders Wheat Toast and only Wheat Toast before heading over to the foreclosure auctions in the county building. 19,000 once, twice. To Holly Brenda, who is the new mayor and a fourth generation Illyrian. She does not distinguish the politics from the personal in her mission to reinvent her hometown. To witness the union and marriage of Gregory and Ashley as husband and wife. Or to Forrest and Gloria Bullocks, who are regular patrons of the Friday Fish Fry. They come for the fresh Lake Erie perch, but also for Donna's hugs. People come in and, and um, they say it's like, it's like home. But behind the scenes, Donna struggles to keep this home afloat. Yeah, I look for shut-off notices. It says, security deposit request. Well, I request not to pay it. And on top of the security deposit they're paying, they're giving you a late charge. Thank you for calling Ohio Edison. All of our representatives are assisting other callers. Rather than wait on hold, we can call you back when it's your turn. Yeah, right. 11 and 18 minutes from now, you will not lose your place in line if you choose to Oh, and my mom constantly reminds me, you're getting older, Donna. You have no retirement, Donna. You know, I've turned in my 401k when I worked for the blood bank to buy the restaurant and to survive. But my mom says, you know, how are you going to make your house payments? I don't know, Mom. Something will happen, and I'll be okay. I'll move somebody in with me. You know what, by the time, by the time I worry about it, I might even be married to somebody else. Maybe somebody rich. Maybe I'll find a rich guy and we can go on cruises. Who knows, you know? I don't know. Okay, guys, thank you. In my head, I think, okay, everything's okay. Nobody complained. Everything's fine. And I just sit there with a blank look and I look at the park. And just for a minute, sometimes. And I just look out there. And um, then I get back and clean the kitchen.